Breaking news out of Southwest Springfield where a fire has forced families from their homes. Lakeshore apartments have caught fire for the second time in four months. Chris Brewer is there. He works on our digital side on mm -hmm. the KY3.com side. And Chris, tell us what you see. Good morning, Paul. Still standing out here at the Lakeshore Apartments. Actually uh, standing with a bunch of folks over here that are just uh, taking the scene in, I, I guess you could say. We have two ladder trucks now that have joined the scene here at the Lakeshore Apartments. Once again, it's that same building that caught fire about four months ago. They're attacking it from all sides here. Springfield Fire Department with a massive response, attacking it from the air on the ground. I actually see them in the building as we speak, just trying to knock, uh, knock some of the fire down. I uh, can tell you there is a firewall that separates this from another building, so it doesn't look like it's spread, um, as was a concern last time. But uh, it looks like they're uh, starting slowly to gain the upper hand, starting to see a lot of white smoke out here, too. With that firewall in place, uh, the residents, though, have still been evacuated from that next door building. It looks like it. Uh, I see a lot of folks just kind of just kind of standing, milling about. Looks like a lot of folks have just woken up. I mean, just, just kind of walked out of the building. It doesn't look like there's anybody hurt. I'm going to try to talk to a fire official or somebody on scene that can confirm this for me. But we do have a lot of EMS units standing by, and I haven't seen anybody transported thus far. Mm. Chris, the last fire happened in June, and it was a makeshift ashtray uh, on a balcony on the third floor that started that fire again in June. Uh, any idea on where this fire may have started and if anyone was hurt? There's really no telling. Um, as you can see, or as I could see rather, it looks just like the whole top of the building caught fire again. I mean, it looks very, very similar to last time. Mm -hmm. Also note that there are some construction materials there. There's a lot of scaffolding up because they were repairing the building from last time as well. They put a new roof on. They were trying to put new siding on as, as recently as last week from what it looked like as well. At this point, it doesn't look like there's any telling as to a cause, but it looks like something they're going to have to investigate for a while yet again. And it did look like they were getting pretty close to wrapping up that construction last time I passed by. Yes, it did, actually. Like I said, they had the roof on. They had uh, crews out here just pretty much every day working around the clock to get that building rehabbed and back into shape, uh, getting it, um, I guess you could say, uh, ready to be moved in again. All right, Chris Brewer reporting live for us. We'll have reports on this throughout the morning and we'll bring you some pictures very soon.